Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, December 16. It has been a minute since I've been out here. Uh, I, and I believe it's actually been about a week. I think last Saturday when I was out here with the burn piles in the rain. I don't know. I got a kink or something in my neck and in my shoulders and all tight and hurting and can't move very well. And um, I thought laying around and Val massaged me a little bit and I, we have a little sauna thing I sat in and I've been massaging myself and meditating and doing different things to try to help relieve it and it's it's probably like 15 20 percent better but it's just not getting better like I wanted it to so I decided to go just come on back out if laying around's not going to do anything might as well come out and work and then uh, Nicole got sick and missed a few days of work and still struggling. And then Val got sick and she missed a day of work. And I was starting to feel a little sickish and I tried to get on it last night before it took over. So hopefully I'll be okay. I feel a little bit off, but not bad. And uh, the other bad news is that our pits did not perk. Um, so I have to come back out here and dig some more holes so I can find a place that might perk. So that's what we're going to be doing, going after it. And it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. But they're saying the rain's going to start later, like tomorrow, this tonight. But it looks like it could at least sprinkle or drip or something on me. So we'll see. And the other bad news, <laughs> I pulled in my... This thing got knocked out i don't know if i'm gonna be able to set it back up but it got blown completely off the tractor it was down there on the tractor when i left it in the rain so i'm gonna inspect this and make sure it's not hopefully it's not broken and i can put it back up all right well uh <laughs> i'm not starting out all excited sounding today but i am anxious to get in and see if i can find some places where if holes aren't complete rock. I don't know what we're going to do if, if, if that's all we find. Um, and it looks like my burn piles are fine. Obviously they are since it's been a week since I've been out here. So yeah, I'm going to try to get this thing back up. And then hopefully I can and get the tractor started and start digging holes again. Alright, I might have dodged a bullet there. <clears throat> this thing is not that expensive. It was like 70 or 80 bucks. Um... So I wouldn't have lost a lot of money, but still, I really like the idea of it. So I moved it and kind of just picked it up. Seems like everything's okay, and I put it back where I had it. <clears throat> I had these um, stakes that were, they were still in the holes on there. I lost one stake. These were, so we had this on the rock to kind of bring it up even because that was kind of dipped there. Uh, so I had two stakes in this hole over here and one stake in that one and one stake in that one obviously no stake in the rock one <clears throat> i don't know if that would have made a difference but now i'm actually down to only three stakes because somewhere maybe if i look around i'll find it oh there it is <clears throat> so maybe before i leave today i'll take that off of the rock and uh stake that side maybe that'll help um maybe that one spot since it wasn't secured to the ground maybe that was its weak point and it flew up i don't know but got lucky <clears throat> day is starting well now <laughs> it's not broken tractor started up moved that fine everything's doing good with that so let's get to work all right, we're going to talk about a couple of things real quick. First of all, there's where the burn pile was, the second one, and the other one was way down there. So it all did pretty good, didn't really spread or anything. Those are where the pits are. That's where you flagged. So I'm coming down here a little bit further. Um, I'm going to try around this corner, kind of, here where I'm at. And then up around here. Uh, septic's supposed to be 50 feet off of water. There is a creek down here. I think that is further than 50 feet. 
Uh, however, that creek has been dry. Um, the water starts down, I don't know if you can see way down there, but kind of where I used to have the tractor park. There is creek stuff here and maybe certain times of the year, maybe water comes out, I don't know, or it's slightly underground, but there's no water above ground uh, for now. Anyway, if I can find a hole, if I can dig a hole and things get uh, less rocky, we'll be in luck. And the reason why I came here over this direction is because this is where we won our uh, septic tank put, where these little flags are. So <clears throat> here is where the flags are. I would be standing in the bedroom about right here, the guest bedroom. And then over here, I would be in the kitchen. So it would run right into there. And the reason why I'm choosing over here also is because when I was digging this pad, it was really rocky over on that side, but it was a lot less rocky over here. So maybe we'll have some luck and it'll not be as rocky down here. I don't know. I want to work my way around here. We were thinking about putting the well over there by the trailer, which would not be 50 feet away, but we could still, we could just go up a ways with that well. So we'll try this in first. If it doesn't work, I might have to go down over there. Too bad, you know, we have piles of dirt everywhere in the way to dig. I mean, I could always, if I got really desperate, I guess move the dirt. So that's where we're at on that. And the other thing, one more thing is I've already turned this all around, but you remember the three point hitch here would go down when I pushed on it or when something was on it, it would just, it would float down. And I thought that this piston here and the ring were blown because that's what YouTube said when I went on there and, and Google when I was looking at stuff. Uh, but I went into the tractor place that I bought the tractor and they sell other stuff. I bought that a Christmas gift. Maybe you guys will see that. I'll try to remember next time that thing's on film, I'll show you what I bought her. But I talked to the guy about that and he's like, I don't remember us ever working on that being a problem. I don't know where on other tractors, but on Yanmar, right here, this little knob, which would be under the front of the seat when it's facing forward. That I guess has something with, to do with the hydraulics and tightening and loosening. And I barely turned it to the right and the three points stopped falling. <laughs> If that's the, if, I mean, I don't have any weight on it right now. I pushed on it and it won't go down. So when I didn't have it tight and I pushed on it and it did go down. So I think that might have cured it. We'll see. I'll only truly know probably once I have some weight on it. But hopefully, cross fingers, that'd be awesome if it's that simple of a fix. He says he has people call in all the time where they're, they complain their three points locked up and he tells them to turn that and that loosens it up as well. So. I'll be happy if that's what it is. That'd be so awesome. All right, I'm going to get to work, start digging holes, and see what happens. All right, guys. So I did uh, my first hole. So the holes were over there, remember? And I said I was going to come over here to the side. I feel like it looks a lot better than last time. There is a lot more dirt and less rock. As you can see, the consistency versus... I'll show you this over here, which you've already seen, but I was pulling out big rocks like this. Much more, much more rocky, but I also did big, bigger holes. So I don't know if that's gonna make a difference, but Roger told me that I over dug. So I'm gonna do simpler, smaller holes and hopefully that'll still pass but yeah this is as big as i went but it's over four foot deep there in the middle actually leaking a little bit of water down there it's a seeper so if water can get through it then septic should work there all right i'm gonna go ahead and coming off that hole a little bit coming over here i took my phone and measured all the way down to that creek and that's pretty close to 70 feet 
and I only need to be 50 feet off the water. And again, like I said, that's been dry as long as we've been here. I don't know, but I'm just thinking right around this area, maybe they can do uh, the leech lines. And then, you know, up there where that pink flag is, I don't know if you can see it, but that's, they said we can start running our leech lines pretty close to the, um, to the septic, so. I don't know. I'm just going to dig some holes, see what happens. I think I started, I think I got here about 9.30. I don't know if I said that when I started the video. Um, I, uh, so that would be, was that like six or seven hours? I don't know. Went by pretty fast, actually. My uh, furthest hole on this side is a lot less rock than there was in those other holes. I don't know. He must have just picked the rock spot. I don't know. But there's not a lot of rock here in any of them. So I dug, before he asked me to dig three, I went ahead and dug four uh, down here. So a lot less rock. I don't really see much rock in these. Oh, and you can see there's not much rock. But I did try to come over here pretty far. And still don't see a lot of rock in my little pile there, but I was hitting a whole bunch of rock right here. And I don't know, I didn't have the patience to, well I said why should I keep digging to see if I get through it or not. I'll just move to a different spot. So. That's what I did. I'm gonna shovel this all back on there. Um, probably the next thing I'm gonna do right now. But I just wanna show you guys this pot, uh, the pits and I really hope they say those are okay because they look pretty good. All right guys, I'm gonna, hey, a couple minutes before it gets dark. I haven't been out for, for a while so I'll get something else done here. I was gonna try to take these, loosen them up pull these pins out and see if this will fall forward so I can go under this tarp. guys about ready to leave five o'clock uh, I was able to make that bar go down I don't see the point of it going down the other way because it right blocks the seat as you saw but I was able to pull it like this and I can go under um, I was gonna tie from here to here to keep this from flying away and I had it tied up and then I remembered the sun hydraulics and half the time I come in it's kind of settled 
and I don't want it pulling down on the tent. So this was my other solution was taking kind of a longer bungee cord, tie it to the steering wheel. And then I raised this up to the highest notch instead of having it on the rock, which enabled me to put the stake there. I don't know if the stakes are gonna hold. And then I have all, all the rest of them at the middle notch there uh, to kind of even out the height. It looks awkward and kind of off. I can't really tell which way is, you know, if I have those too high or not, I don't think so, but the legs are kind of not straight up and down. But anyway, it'll work. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. We'll see how that holds up and if it works. And uh, which means I probably won't be out here tomorrow. But at least I got a, uh, at least I got all the pits dug. That's pretty good. And then um, also Monday, I probably won't be out here either because something else went wrong with our car and I have an appointment at 11 o'clock in Greenville to have it looked at. So probably won't be doing much on Monday. Val happens to have Sunday and Monday off as well. So that kind of works out for us to spend some time together. All right, we'll see you guys Tuesday or whenever I get back out here. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is December 19, 9.45 in the morning, getting out a little bit late. But I stopped and got some fuel and stuff like that. It is a chilly day. Not too bad down here at the property. 34 when I pulled on. But when I left where we live, which is one of the higher elevation areas, um, there's some that are a little higher than us, but in general, we're uh, at a higher elevation. Plus, we're kind of in the forest. It was 25 when I left there. But the interesting thing I have not seen before <laughs> in person is the ice that's all over the ground. It is... I have not seen anything like it's like strands. It's so interesting. I don't know why on our property I didn't see it on anybody's property while I was driving out here, coming out here. It's all over our pad. Interesting to know what causes that. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is, sorry, I'm taking you on a little walk here. This is interesting as well. Look at this. It's almost like snowflake pattern. So fragile. That is really neat. All right, cool. Oh, look at this, quite a field of it over here too. Wow, that is, that is cool. Interesting. Okay, well, um, I called on Saturday. No, I called yesterday. Yes, Saturday was the day that I dug. Then it rained mon uh, s Saturday night and Sunday, so I didn't come out. And then Monday, Val finally got a day off, even though they wanted her to work. Every time I've been telling you guys when she's going to have days off and be out here, we're going to do something, they've asked her to come to work every time or she's been called in for something. So she has not been getting the days off she's supposed to be getting off. So it's been a little rough and busy for her, and uh, but... She stuck to her guns for yesterday. They asked her to work, but she took it off because she was supposed to have it off. And it was mostly because we also had a um, car repair appointment in uh, Greenville. So we drove down there yesterday and uh, got the car fixed on some stuff. And uh, I called the county and left a message that my pits were dug. Four more pits and I haven't heard back from them then I called them again this morning and left another message nothing yet they seem to be they were really awesome when I go in in person there's always people there to talk to there's always answers but 
it seems like calling or trying to get attention from out it's a little bit uh, lacking in the communication anyway I am out here at the property and uh, we'll show you what we're gonna do here in a minute all right guys the plan is to start the day Man, it's cold I had to put my hat on I'm gonna rearrange this a little bit and um, I'm gonna pull out the wood cutting stuff because I am planning on going over here and doing some more cutting today so I'll get all that out kind of move this stuff to the sides and then I'll show you Val's Christmas present we uh, I guess we did things kind of weird this year we just all bought stuff each other stuff early and didn't wrap it and revealed it right away and <laughs> so she wanted to be able to do her own trimming out here she wants to be able to take out some of these smaller branches and there's particular woods and things that she wants to be able to use to create things for inside the house but she wanted a little saw of some sort for cutting these without having to chip everything or like you know cut everything by hand so i bought her the uh battery operated chainsaw eight inch but i think what's going to happen is ron's going to be borrowing that a lot <laughs> I, I bought it from the same place i bought my tractor and he said he's getting a lot of professionals coming in and actually buying those they're really great for shimmying up trees and whatever and just cutting the small branches off instead of having to carry a gas powered chainsaw so that's exciting and then i also got off amazon so i don't know what i'm getting myself into but it was the best price i could find <clears throat> this five four boxes makes up a shed it's a 10 by 10 shed and we've been paying for storage for some stuff that's not as valuable as how much the price is going up on the rental of that shed of that storage so we thought if we could assemble the shed here's actually a picture of it it's a 10 by 10 it's a very simple uh but that we could store stuff out here on the property now instead of having to pay for storage there or i can be taking some of my tools out and putting that stuff in that shed and put personal items in the trailer i just don't know how much i'm going to need this trailer for once we start building i'm going to need uh i may be needing to use this trailer to transport things that i buy for the property versus just all deliveries so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to get on this clean it all up try to get this out of here all right guys remember i was out here saturday and i put the tarp or the tent thing back up it appears that it held it didn't move but it seems like it did because this bungee cord was more straight than it is now um, and as you can see when i was talking about not tying this to here that the hydraulics let down so yeah the hydraulics on that kind of sunk down and that would have pulled the tent down working for now the legs are looking a little flimsy but hopefully we'll be okay it did it did rain and it did blow pretty hard and it's still standing so good shape on that all right guys as i'm setting up here to get to cutting environmental health showed up to uh check out the pits so i'm not gonna put them on camera put them on the spot but i'll let you guys know in a minute hopefully we'll find out what's going on hopefully we'll have some good news all right guys looks like good news he hasn't called it official yet but he's like i said it looks way better than it used to, than the other ones and he's going to shoot the lines whatever that means and show the layout of how the septic line should go so he's thinking it looks good we might need to move we want our well right here by where the trailer is move it up just a few more feet that way just to be a little safer but he said honestly you're probably okay all right guys set of a gun if that uh guy from the <laughs> county he just left while i was cutting wood he was down there i saw him kind of backing out and he was going up here slowly so i thought he would like stop over here and walk over and talk to me and he just drove out so he said he was going to shoot the lines. I can guess at what that means, like where the lines would go, but he didn't really tell me anything. 
And uh, he just finished and left. He was encouraging with his words and said it looks good and way better than the other pit. So I guess we're good to go, but I don't really know what's the next step. Okay, guys. Way down there, I don't know if you can see, past this hill of dirt where the tree is kind of bending over and there's a tree out there kind of in the middle. That's about where I started with my new chainsaw with the still. And I did, you know, I think it took me like a week or two, I don't know, all the way up here, all the way up to that corner, cutting all that. I'm not, obviously not sponsored by these guys. I don't get nothing for this. <laughs> but I'm really happy with this chainsaw. I was down there and wanted to show you kind of all that area that I'd cut with this chainsaw. And I've done some other odds and ends stuff too. This chainsaw, I highly recommend it. Um, and I highly recommend this sharpener for the blade. I'm a DIY guy, I'm not a professional, I don't know. You could challenge me on anything and I wouldn't have anything to say back. All this wood that I uh, that you see cut on the ground, logs, all this. I did some more brush, obviously, pulling out all this. And that's like sitting the, the chainsaw on the ground and letting it run while I'm pulling out more brush and getting to this. That was on a tank of gas, so that's pretty good. Supposedly they're not as good a gas mileage or whatever environmentally friendly as Husqvarna. And I'm not attacking Husqvarna. I had them for a long time and I really like that brand. But I'm still on the same chain, guys. And it's been... It's the first chain I got with the chainsaw. It's been, what, a month or two or whatever. I don't know. And it's so easy to sharpen. Every time I sharpen it, I notice the difference. Starts up right off the bat. You know, in the beginning, you know, when it's cold, it's, it takes a few cranks, as they're known for. But it works like a champ, man. I am so happy with this chainsaw. Um... Yeah, so a steel, was that MS or yeah, MS261C? And this sharpener. Sharpener is just, I don't know. I'm kind of giddy right now. I don't know why, how happy I'm with this chainsaw. It gives me no problems, works like a champ. Every time I sharpen, I'm like, man, this is so easy and it works. It's nice when your efforts actually work. And this little guy right here, they, <laughs> the guy that came out to do the septic, check my septic, check my pits, he's like, I can't believe you did that with these, this tractor. He was so impressed. And his uh, supervisor came out with him the last time and they saw this little tractor and they were shocked at what I was able to do with it. So again, fantastic piece of equipment. I don't know, do your research, know what's what you think and I'm really happy so far with the equipment that I've chosen for the most part. All right, guys, almost one o'clock. Uh, I quit cutting. I'll tell you here in a minute why. But while I was putting my stuff away, I saw some flags over here. Like I said, the septic guy, he was supposed to come over and talk to me. and He never did. <laughs> he just left. Anyway, I measured from uh, those flags over there by the trailer which is where we were wanting the well approximately to this flag and it's about 100 feet so i thought it was going to be a problem but it's it's not he said we could go up a little bit further away he thought it might be a good idea but to be honest 100 feet and then you know all the piping that you got to pay for and plumbing and all that stuff any time you can be a little bit closer so anyway i came down here just to see what he did he put a flag here flag there orange orange flags there and orange flag all the way down here that's where it kind of stops at then he put a white flag there and a white flag there I'm not a septic installer dude so I don't know what that means I'm guessing there's going to be a leech line along the 
orange and a leech line along the white but i don't know <laughs> i don't know i'll have to ask roger or somebody what's the next step and what i do now but i guess we passed so that's exciting and good news all right the reason why and it was spontaneous too i don't i was just thinking about um i talked to nicole today and she bought a little shed thing for her dog ajuga He's so big, it's really hard to find a affordable crate, something that he, or a, kind of a doghouse thing that he can stay in outside out of the weather. He's an outside dog. He likes to be outside. He'll go inside occasionally, but he didn't like a door closed. He needs to know he can get out. So she's trying to create something there, and she's overwhelmed. So she's asking her dad to help her put that together, and she's been getting home late, so close to dark and it's too late to put stuff together so I figured maybe I ought to just hang this up for the day and uh, go home and see if I can figure this shed thing out. It's a lot smaller than mine. It's, I don't know, but it's supposed to be the right size for him. So I'll go home and see how hard it is and what's involved. All right guys, a little after one, getting ready to leave. Call it a day. Don't know. Don't know exactly my plan for tomorrow. Um, I'm probably gonna call Roger, and he's gonna tell me exactly what I need to do. Uh, so, bye bye property. See you soon. I think we got rain coming up here on the forecast too in a few days. I'm not sure when. Uh, and. If I'm available, I'll come out and at least burn what I've cut so far, what shrubbery I have out there. All right, we'll see you guys next time we're out. Good morning, everybody. It is December 21, just after 9 o'clock, coming at you from the truck. I am, uh, I just left uh, where I live in Flat Rock, and uh, it's 27 degrees. 27 degrees a couple days in a row been kind of cold so I haven't been out to the property for a couple days uh, the other day I finished up early and went and worked on Nicole's shed and then yesterday morning got uh, Niana's boyfriend Diego he helped me finish it up got that done then yesterday Val and I did some running around and did some stuff with the kids but uh, I called Roger and he said I need to get into the county now and uh, start working on my building permit. So that's where I'm heading right now. We got a couple things we need to do today. It's not gonna be uh, working on the property day. These are exciting days because they're the parts that kind of get you going in the direction you need to get going, but they're not my favorite. I don't like the details so, so much doing the footwork. I'd rather be out doing the labor. <laughs> but it is what it is and maybe we'll learn something today. Uh, not too far away from there so I'll let you guys know how it all goes. Alright guys, I'm at the county. Went in. I still can't apply for my building permits until the septic is signed off on and I guess he hasn't like officially signed off. They got word that from him that uh, he's gonna sign off on it. So what they did was gave me a bunch of paperwork to go fill out, um, which I've already filled out for environmental health, but I have to do a lot of it all over again for the building, for the building inspector, and it's got to be more detailed. So that's where we sit. I cannot go and get, uh, I can't contact the electric company for a temporary poll till the building permit signed off on and I got to do a few things I've never heard of before. So I'll probably touch bases with Roger and see what he thinks we should do. And uh, I might be just sitting around doing paperwork today. All right, guys, almost 10 o'clock. I'm out here at the property. And uh, so what's happened since I left the county is I called Roger and I'm going to go over there six o'clock this evening and fill out paperwork and try to get this thing filed back in tomorrow uh it's you know we're trying to push it we it, i don't have the full 
realization of how much time this is all going to take. So Roger does, and he's good at pushing me and me instead of me being relaxed and saying, oh, I'll do it next week or get to it. <clears throat> he's wanting to get after as quickly as possible. So they did tell me today at the county that if I'm able to get all this stuff in tomorrow, that possibly by about Thursday of next week, she would be making, I don't know if she'll have it completely done, but uh, she would be uh, nearly completed on that. Next thing is, as I called uh, uh, one of the well drilling companies that are local, and he actually might be able to get me in earlier than I was thinking. Um, they were supposed to come out the week after Thanksgiving and look at my potential site and no one has shown up. So uh, I guess he had some complications with his business and employee and stuff. So he's getting after it, trying to catch up on everything. So he is going to call me on Tuesday and set up a time next week to come out and look at the site and see uh, if there's a chance he can uh, get out here earlier and put me in a well. So that's the next thing I'm doing. And the other thing I'm going to do is they need an aerial shot of the building site and the measurements from to make sure everything's off of the property line correctly and all that stuff. So I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to try to send the drone up, take some shots. And uh, I don't necessarily have software for any of that. I don't know what it would take for me, but I think I might be able to just try to print a photo of that and then draw in the um, the measurements from the property line and the septic and all that stuff. So I don't know. I'm going to try it. I'll give it a shot. It may or may not work or I might do some of it right and not know how to do the rest of it and not do it that way, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and send the drone up and uh, I don't have hardly any experience with the but we're going to give it a shot. Well, anyway, I sent information to the well driller, but um, I was able to send him drone shots of I was able to send him drone shots of where I want the well and the relationship to the septic, the pad, and I want the well over here. I just feel like that's another useful tool and gives the guy that's coming out to look a little bit more information, makes it quicker, easier. He'll have a reference point. Um, and I'm gonna try to use some of those photos as well for the county so they can see all the boundaries. Let's see if it works out. I think it's pretty cool.